Okay, for this next section, we're going to look at image processing. I'm going to actually import a new image. So I'm just going to drag it into the viewport. I'm going to change our paper size back to A4. And then I'm going to change to scale to fit. So now, in this new tab, in the image processing tab, here we can basically filter the image before um, it is turned into a drawing. What's important to note is that a good looking image isn't necessarily one which plots well and sometimes you may actually want to add some pretty heavy filtering to the image and make it look not very appealing but it will actually result in a much better plot. So I'll show you what that looks like. Um, there's actually a, a preset already included which is called Simple Unsharp Mask. If we enable this we'll see that the image is much sharper now. Um, if we wanted to add this filter ourselves, all we'd have to do is go to Filters, go to Blur, and then go to Unsharp Mask. And when we do that, we actually get a pop-up which shows us all of the settings. This will be very familiar if you've used Photoshop or anything similar. Um, you can basically configure all of your different filters. If I hit Cancel on that, I can right-click to delete filters. I can right-click to edit the settings again if I want to make changes. So I could set this to maybe 4 and then hit apply. I can also enable and disable filters. And of course I should say this isn't a replacement for Photoshop. This is really just a shortcut to allow you to do some of these changes in DrawingBot. If you want to do really heavy editing I'd recommend Photoshop or something similar. But this is really quick, uh, a quick shortcut to try out different styles. Um, so now that we've added the Unsharp Mask, let's first run the plot. In fact, I need to go, let's go back to the default sketch lines and let's um, change our pen settings back to the default as well. And let's run it one more time. As you can see, there's quite a lot of detail in this plot and this is because the unsharp mask is helping it. If I disable and then run it again, you'll see there's, there's less detail in the plot. Um, so the Unsharp Mask really helps DrawingBot to pick out the lines and the details in the image. What we can also do is we could add a contrast um, filter. I should say there is also another way that you can add filters, which is down here. You can go to Colors, and then for example, we're going to go to Contrast and add that here. I'm just going to hit Cancel because we also need to switch back to the image mode to see these changes. So we're back in image mode and then I can start to play around with the contrast. So let's see if I increase the contrast fairly drastically and hit apply. Let's run the plot one more time. You can see this has resulted in a very different style of image with um, a much lower density of lines. Um, and as you can see like the original image isn't very pleasing but the final drawing is still very much usable so playing around with the contrast and the brightness um, and seeing less how it affects the image but more how it affects the final drawing so here we've got a much um, higher density just by reducing the brightness we've also got a few more experimental filters so if we go into one of the other sections here let's go into effects um, let's go into distort actually um, you can see that we've got, for example, Ripple here. So let's add Ripple. And you can see it's completely distorting the image and doing some cool stuff to it. But if we run this, um, we're actually making some kind of weird, quite stylized plots that could be quite interesting. But as you can see, it can be fun to just play around with these, run it through DrawingBot, and you can actually get some interesting results for the combination of these. Um, let's go back to the image. We've got a diffuse filter here. And again, this has really changed the style of our plot completely. We have this more painterly look to the image now. Okay, so as you can see, playing around with the image processing can create some really different styles. So I just say go and have a play and see how um, different filters can actually affect. Because as I said, um, this you might look at this and think actually this isn't going to plot very well. But in fact, it actually creates a really interesting image. So have a play and see what you can make. Um, in the next video, we're going to look at pen settings um, and playing around with those.